morning everyone what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brianna and today we're gonna be doing a day of my life work from home day of my life it's a busy work day but there's a few fun things that Corey and I are doing tonight so felt a little inspired to pick up the camera and hang out with all of you today I'm just in a really really good mood this morning and I'm excited to take you all along on my day so I have a busy work day today but tonight is actually very fun because Corey and I are cooking like a nice home-cooked meal tonight but even more important our apartment building is putting on like a live music outdoor movie night tonight so from 7 to 8 there is live music like right outside of our building they're literally closing the entire street down and then after that starting at eight o'clock they're gonna be showing Moana outside so you know that Corey and I have rearranged all plans to make sure that we could attend tonight and I'm very excited about it so today's gonna be a fun day I have a few fun things to share as well so make sure if you have not already to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video for my iced coffee this morning I am using my Amazon like mason jar tumblers normally I use a little bit of a smaller cup but I brewed a bigger cup of coffee yesterday so I think just with how hot it is and how much ice I want in the actual cup this one's gonna fare well better coffee of the day is made and I have a little bit of extra room in there so I probably could put some more ice let's see if we need anything else in it today a perfect Thursday morning coffee. I am someone that's recently been trying to be a little bit more of a morning person, and I've just found that I'm better during the day. I sleep a little bit better at night, so I'm really trying to prioritize my mornings, and when Corey comes home from the gym, it's nice to spend a little bit of quality time together. I thought it would be really fun. I actually just got a five minute journal, so I thought it could actually be a really fun morning activity for us to fill out my first ever five minute journal. So Corey bought this for me about week and a half ago and I haven't used it yet so I thought this morning would be the perfect morning so we are actually gonna fill in my first page of my five minute journal together today made it to the couch and we are gonna fill out my five minute journal and I can have one of these linked down below but apparently the green one is the newer version and I really wanted to get into the five minute journal because I actually don't feel like I put enough thought into how I'm feeling or being in tune with my emotions and just really being grateful and spending even if it's just five minutes separated from my phone, from YouTube, from social media, from binge watching a TV show. And I feel like putting yourself first is so important, but the idea of the five minute journal is to just spend five minutes the minute you wake up and five minutes right before you go to bed reflecting on your morning and reflecting on the day itself. So on one of the pages it says five reasons you will love the five minute journal. So the five reasons they share is one it's the simplest thing you can do to be happier two it's built on proven psychology three it's a journal for people who don't write journals which if you saw my year ago video I journaled every day for a month and it was a very large challenge for me number four is it's a snapshot of your positive experiences five it's a commitment you can stick to and that one's a big one I feel like adding very small bite-sized pieces into your day-to-day -day routine is important but you don't need to be going overboard because if you do you'll never create habits the top of the journal says you can date it and then it has just a quote at the top and then down here it will say I'm grateful for what could make today great and a daily affirmation and then down here is highlights of the day and what did I learn today and the light morning is on the top and the dark is at the bottom and they're two tones so this morning I am grateful for this this beautiful iced coffee on this Thursday morning I'm gonna say secondly I'm grateful for warm days it is a heat wave this week in Boston we're getting upwards of almost a hundred we're sitting at like 95 degrees today and I'm grateful for those warm days where they're very very hot I love love the heat so I'm definitely grateful for that so my last one is gonna be a little funny but I actually think it's really important and I'm gonna say I'm grateful for my eyes and the reason I'm gonna say I'm grateful for my eyes is I love reading in the morning and I love being able to see life's little joys and it was really nice to be able to read in bed this morning and I'm grateful for my eyes and that they let me see a beautiful world. What would make today great? A movie night, engaging work sessions, getting outside because it is so beautiful out that I really want to make sure that I'm prioritizing getting outside and then my daily affirmation is going to be I am powerful. First page done. Very exciting. I liked that and it was 
fun to do it with you guys and kind of share. So just to recap what I said, I am grateful for coffee, warm days, and my eyes. What would make today great? A movie night, engaging work sessions, and getting outside. And my daily affirmation is I am powerful. So we will revisit this tonight when it's time for us to do a five minute journal before bed. But I am just gonna relax. Corey is finishing up getting out of the shower now. So we're gonna make some coffee for him and then relax and then start the work day. I am now at my desk for the day looking at my schedule. I don't have anything until 10. However, this first hour, I really need to prep for a few training sessions that I have today. I wanna make sure that I get that situated and squared away. I do feel a lot more productive, I would say, in the morning. Once I hit 2.30, 3 o'clock, I am really tired for the day. It becomes really exhausting and I feel like I'm lagging through the day, which is normally when I have a little bit of caffeine, but I think today is gonna to be just a busy one, so it's gonna keep me really kind of occupied and keeping moving and trudging in the right direction. So gonna have a really productive morning and I'll check in with all of you at lunchtime. It is 12 o'clock, just finished up my crazy, crazy morning of work. We ended up doing steak fajitas last night and I saved the leftover veggies, like the peppers and onions, and then I also saved the extra brown rice. And then I had meal prepped chicken yesterday just for the next few days before we end up leaving. We're going away this weekend. This is what I'm having for lunch today and it's really, really good. I just had the chicken and it's just perfect. I do like a fuller lunch because I'm not a breakfast eater, so I find myself gravitating toward a bigger meal during lunch time so Corey and I are gonna enjoy some lunch together and then I really do want to go for a walk even if it's just a quick circle I feel like it will just be nice to get some fresh air especially because I'm just busy today so it'll be nice to like take a full step out of the apartment so after lunch we will go on a nice walk we decided that we are not gonna go to the juice place that's near us just because we actually haven't had Starbucks refreshers like all summer season uh, yeah, yet. yeah we were chatting about it we were like juice or refresher I was like oh I haven't had a refresher, refresher in a long like, time I think I'm long. you know but comment down below which one of the refreshers you prefer I really struggle between getting the strawberry acai refresher and the dragon fruit one I feel like I like the dragon oh, fruit one better one yeah so but much. you get your dragon fruit with lemonade I get my regular one with lemonade the strawberry yeah really always I never knew that yeah. so we live in like a really cool little complex area that almost is like right outside the city, but around us there's like a ton of things walking distance. So we can walk to Starbucks, a pizza place, a crumble cookie, there's a FedEx, a Cold Stone, like a ton around us, which we absolutely love. And it's actually, it hasn't been too much of a problem that we can walk to Starbucks because we don't really oh, do it too uh -huh. often, but yeah. it is literally a one minute walk. Like we're outside the Starbucks right now. So we're gonna go in and when I come out, we'll be able to see which Refresher I ended up getting, but I know you're gonna get I feel like the mango today. Oh dragon fruit absolutely. Mango dragon fruit for Corey always. Alright, so jokes on all of you. Brianna got zero and I got two. Ha! Oh very funny. That's why you didn't <laughs> give it to me right away. Yes. I ended up going with the strawberry acai today. I was just kind of in the mood and they have the photos of the drinks and the refreshers like in the Starbucks and this one was just calling to me. I also get all of my refreshers with just water, but you get all of yours with lemonade. Lemonade. We are just gonna go for a nice little walk around our complex and then I need to, the car is very loud, truck, hashtag sounds of the city, but we are gonna just do a quick little walk and then go back up to work. We both have very busy afternoons, so we will check in with you at the end of our work day. Okay, just like that, end of the work day. Thought that I was gonna finish around 4.30 today and it is 5.22 because I had a good amount of things to get done before the end of the day. But Corey is in the kitchen right now. He finished up around five, so he is starting cooking dinner for us. He is making pork tenderloin, which is gonna be so good it's like one of my favorite things that he makes so he is doing that i need to clean up a few things in the office right now for the rest of the night we are just going to finish up we're going to have some dinner i do want to show you a few new t-shirts i just got in the mail so we can open those together and we do have our live music and movie night out on our huge street that they blocked off in our apartment complex so i'm very excited for that and it's going to be a warm movie night outside and i'm hoping for refreshments or something but let me me. I'm actually gonna go show you all of the new shirts that just came in the mail. All right, so I got some new shirts in the mail and if you're not interested in Disney t-shirts then you can just skip forward a few minutes and skip to dinner but if you are my first order is from Fantasy Feelings. I got two shirts for two different outfits that I'm really excited to 
style for our next trip. So first is this one that I got here, it's black, and I got this in a size, I'm pretty sure this was my medium, and this is to wear with some denim shorts for a night in Magic Kingdom, but look at how cute this shirt is. So it says, your kiss goodnight in these really cool, like old school kind of cursive letters. It has this really long quote on the back, and it is their ending to their fireworks shows. So love that, excited to wear that. And then this one I actually love even more. I got this in a large for a more oversized fit, but it says parks after dark. And the front is a photo of Main Street USA in the dark. And I just love this. I bought this one in a large to wear oversized with my bike shorts. And then the back is, I'm sorry, can we even, it says let's stay out late, magic after midnight after dark. And it has all the other three parks at night. And then at the bottom, it just just has some really cool quotes. And then you know, you know I can't stay away from my Park Hop Tees. I'm an ambassador for them. Everyone just wait because you're gonna wanna run to the website and get this because the minute that she released this to us, I was like, yep, I'm buying that and immediately ordered it and I'm so excited it's finally here. But it is this no coffee, no magic shirt. This shirt is just so incredible. I cannot wait to style this. If you're ever interested in ordering anything from Park Hop Tees, I'll have their website linked below and I'll put my code here on the screen for 15% off it's Brianna 15 so anytime that you order with my code it supports me and it means I can just keep staying an ambassador with Gabby and the Park Hop Tees family so please support me I love it so much so Corey made a delicious dinner like I said before we were having pork tenderloin and I love when Corey cooks pork tenderloin I am having pork tenderloin I made just some eggplant from Corey's mom's garden and then some white rice Corey is doing no carbs so Corey has a lot of zucchini some cauliflower rice and some pork tenderloin. It's really good. The best thing that Corey does when he cooks pork tenderloin is he always drizzles all of like the grease, butter, seasoning that sits at the bottom of the pan. Gonna sit down, gonna enjoy some dinner with Corey, and then we're gonna go outside for live music and Moana movie night. We went upstairs and threw my hair up in a clip I because it is hot. And, I got the beach and Corey went into the garage and got our beach chair so that we could just sit on the ground. But when I went upstairs, I got you a surprise. A surprise? I did. What'd you get? Well, it's movie night. So what do you have during movie night? Snacks. Or candy. candy. What kind of candy? Oh, did you get me the goofy? Uh, the, oh my God, yes. I totally forgot I had these. So because Corey and I go to the movies a lot and my mom will go to the dollar store and get us candies, we had a ton upstairs so I brought him his Sour Very Patch please. watermelons and I brought myself the Starburst as well because they won't melt. Starburst watermelons and Sour Patch watermelons melt. won't melt. So we're just waiting. I also brought down my Diet Coke because movie night with a Diet Coke is the best. So why not? yeah, we're sitting in our beach chairs. Corey has his lay. I am just ready to relax and we're gonna watch some Moana. We had gotten like a goodie bag from Sounds of the City. We had gotten a Sounds goodie bag the from the apartment complex, but there was just like some chocolates and stuff in it. We didn't really need the bag, so we just kind of left it. But we are sure ready to watch Moana, and it is a warm day. It is a warm day. But this is good because if we ever want to move to a warm climate, we need to make sure that we can adjust to being in this kind of warm weather outside. So we're ready to watch Moana. We just made it back in from watching Moana outside. It's still going on, but 
we're both tired. We had really long days and right as we were getting to the scene with the coconuts, I was like, hey, do you think it's time for us to leave? I'm getting a little tired. I think I'm ready to just like go upstairs, wash my face and just read a little bit before bed. I am going to wash my face, put on my PJs and read for a little while. I don't know if I've really chatted too much about my current book at the moment, but I am currently reading People We Met on Vacation by Emily Henry. And I've gotten some mixed reviews. Some people say that they really love this book and they're really enjoying it. I think I'm gonna like it, but I just haven't had the chance to sit and read a hundred and change pages. I'm gonna wash my face and sit in bed and read for a little while. Corey's watching Downton Abbey in the other room. And then we'll do my five minute journal to end the day. Face is washed, we are in bed, ready to sleep. And I just did my five minute journal of the night and so basically like I said this morning there is a morning and a night piece five minutes in the morning five minutes at night and for my five minute journal tonight it was three highlights of the day and something that you learned today so three highlights of my day were walking to Starbucks movie night and the sunshine because the weather was just so beautiful today and where it was really hot it was still really nice what did I learn today always listen to your body I normally am not someone that goes for a walk but for today I was just kind of craving one in the sunshine. So with that being said, that is going to end today's spend the day with me vlog here. It was so fun to hang out with all of you for the day. If you have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Good night and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.